Holiness, would you do us the honour of blessing the food, please? Tim? Loving God, bless this food, these wonderful young people, and we remember those in our world who won't get to eat today. Amen. I'd like to give a Singhali Sri Lankan blessing. Subhaharyak Budsarna. Reverend Bill? I just want to thank you. From, I can see the beauty in all of you, where it's all come from. So for families, for friends, for all that's holy in the world, we give you thanks. Amen. I'm going to give a Hebrew blessing over the food. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Blessed be the Lord that has taken the bread from the earth and shared it with us. Holly, contestants, thank you so much. We'll taste the first dish now. We leave the room that the Dalai Lama is eating in and we move into a service area. We've got a few minutes to be able to plate each dish that will then be taken to the Dalai Lama and his guests. Your Holiness, are you hungry? Would you like to eat the first course? Oh, yes. Let's get the first course in, and that belongs to Hayden. Your Holiness, your first course. Oh. Yes, please start, start off. Mm. Oh, very good. Tasteful, very good. Too much mushroom, not good. But here, yeah, very good. And that, what do you call kasafi? Tofu. Yeah. Oh. I love eating and thinking that he chose a broth with clarity because that's what His Holiness represents. To me that was so special. Well, the next dish we're about to taste belongs to Alana and that's a Middle Eastern feast. Mm. is as good as I've tasted. This is just fantastic. I think each one has their own actually special dishes. Very good. Now let's move on to Danny's dish. Danny's done a, a true Sri Lankan dali, so let's get in the next dish. Sri Lankan to you? It does. It's like being at home. <laughs> How good is this roti bread? It's absolutely flaky, buttery and delicious. I think each have their own sort of taste. This also good, this also good. The bread, oh, really delicious. Well, I was actually looking at the way it's presented, because each bit is lovely, but presenting it in these bowls, shows that you can eat each bit but enjoy the whole lot yeah. and that's a lot like humanity in a way that we're all different but somehow we all somehow fit together and somehow the, the taste of all of us is nice but we need to get the next dish in which belongs to billy
This is my first time for Buddha's belly. You know, you know what's interesting is it doesn't have the same clarity. Hayden's broth is beautifully clear. All the all the elements of the dish really stood out. Whereas this one, it's a little bit muddy in terms of flavours. I think this one, compared under the bread, I prefer bread. <laughs> Your Holiness, it's time to taste the next dish. That belongs to Michael, which is a pasta dish. The, the walnut that's been candied, uh, it, it is n number one texture, but the flavour just offsets the, the saltiness of that goat's cheese, the sweetness of that beetroot. It's beautiful. Well, Michael's done a really good job, so let's get the um, next dish out, which belongs to Ellie. I know that Ali has really struggled in this challenge and she's very upset with what she's presenting. So I want to help her. This isn't the challenge to be competitive. This is the challenge to share and help one another. We all have these beautiful dishes that need to get out to the Dalai Lama. We need to help each other out. Do you reckon I should quickly plan pan fry it? I think you might. Yeah, I reckon okay. I pan fry it. We're presenting food to the Dalai Lama and it's got to be the best food that the seven of us together can serve him. The gnocchi, it looks okay. I'm going to serve it. I know that it's not what I'd, I set out to achieve by any means, but I need to serve something. 